All right, welcome back to the new user video series. Today we're going to talk about the engineer's work board. So the engineer work board is that first work board or, just, uh, or dashboard um, that you see when you go to the widget in Autotask. And the first thing you want to notice is, um, and we have two quick buttons for it, we do break things up into appointments and work events. You may rename this when you personalize the product. A work event is fluid, and so it may move over time. Like, let's say that you have a, a critical ticket that comes in. Well, clearly you want that ticket to be worked even above a high. And so that ticket would, when you scheduled it, show up here at the top automatically. So even if I had a low priority here, that would float down for me. Appointments, on the other hand, are not fixed. They're, I mean, they're not fluid. They are fixed in day and time. So here, this is just about getting as much work done as possible. This almost always means somebody, some human somewhere has an expectation of a phone call, a server reboot, a on-site visit. These are boulders. These do not move very easily. And so this essentially means um, that uh, these are fixed on your calendar. And you'll notice even when you with the service called notes, it's very clear. And so we created these using the booking module, and these were created using the scheduler module, which creates work events and appointments. And so what's nice about the work board is, first of all, it sorts and ranks and puts things in the order that just work regardless. Also, using macros, you can configure what each of these buttons does. Um, so clearly, if I click this, this will open the ticket. This will start an auto task timer. Now, there's a lot of things that people want to do to their tickets to keep oversight on it, but it's just too much work for the text, but we make it easy. For example, very common that people want their text to set a ticket to in progress or working now. So that it's very easy to see what tickets are being worked versus not in case you need to re-rank or move tickets and work around. But it's tedious. There's a lot of work. You have to go into the ticket. You potentially have to update your service call and or your status. Maybe you have to move a ticket around in the queue. We don't have to worry about that. Notice where it says start right here. We can configure what these buttons actually do. If I go to macros, and then to dashboard in my work screen dashboard, let's figure out what the start button does. The start button on a work event, these are work events and appointments. You can do different things pinned. On a work event, it does this macro, it executes this macro. So if in your company, you want to modify what happens, here we go. If somebody clicks the start button, you want the ticket status to update to in progress. Maybe you want to update your service call status. Maybe you want to update the priority or the queue. Maybe you want to update some other field. We're going to keep it simple. So now when we click that button, let's go, let's go ahead and pop this puppy open. Now when we click that button, notice this is a status of new. I'm going to click start. So what happens now is the macro engine is going to go update this to whatever that macro is supposed to do. And notice it's now flagged as in progress. The same thing can happen when you click complete. What happens when we click this complete button? What do you want to happen? And so you can go here and work source, re re let's see, completes work. And so we'll go in here and we just want to say, look, we don't want to do anything to the ticket. Um, cause maybe they're going to set it to QC or complete or waiting manager, but we do know we want to close the service call. And so instead of them having to remember to close the service call, they just need to click complete. And when they do that, it takes it off their board. They finish that job. And if I go here and look at that service call and we have four here, so it's going to be a lot of data, but if we go here, one of these service calls is going to be set as complete. Happened in the background. Again, we could do multiple things via this macro. Um, that's how we combine effort into a single click. And each of these does something else. And so we can cancel a service call. This would just close out the service call using the default configuration. We can click command. We can do some other things to um, this ticket. And so that just shows you the power of the dashboard is it combines all the work and clicks that you were doing before. It organizes the data for the engineer. It puts it in the order they should be working so you always know they're working in the correct order and it reduces multiple clicks and edits just to these buttons.